Hello everyone, I have a story to tell you. I was walking Ziggy when all of a sudden, <gasps> I thought I saw a snake. But when I looked closer, it was just a stick. So I picked it up and decided we should make snakes today. And so now I have this stick and I need to bring it home to make a snake with it. Snakes can come in all sorts of different shapes and colors and they can have different kind of patterns like stripes or spots. So it's really important that you use your creative thinking so that you can let your imagination run wild. They can be any color you want. So let's get started. This is how I made my snake. First, I knew that I needed to wash my stick. There were lots of mud bits and dirt and even some bark left on it from when it was a tree. You also want to wash it to make sure there aren't any bugs. As I continued to wash it, I noticed that it had a mouth. So now I knew which side my snake face was going to be on. And when I started looking at its tail, I noticed that some bugs had eaten some of my stick. Do you see the trails where they left their bite marks? They were crawling all over and having their snack. Then it was time to dry it off. So I got a towel and tried to get as much mud off of the stick as I could. Then I found a black marker, remembered where my face was, and drew two eyes on my snake. I then drew a circle around my snake so I knew where the head was and where the neck was, and then made his nose. Here comes the fun part. I got to use all of my markers to color my snake any way I wanted. Since I love rainbows, I decided to color him all different colors. And rainbow is the best way to do that. What color are you going to color your snake? Is your snake going to have stripes or polka dots? When I got to the tail, I decided to use my black marker to make the tail more noticeable. Then I turned my snake over to finish coloring the other side of him. It's best to wait until your snake is completely dry before you start coloring. I was having a little trouble by the end of it because it was still wet. Then I remembered all snakes have stripes on their belly. So now my snake is all done. And I took him out for a little slither. I think he enjoyed my plants. I think my snake is so happy. Look at all the colors that he is. What kind of snake did you make? Does your snake have a rattle on its tail, or does it not? Does it have stripes or polka dots? I can't wait to see your snake. But remember, if we ever do see a snake out in the wild, we do not touch it. We move away from it as fast as we can and let somebody know as soon as possible. Some snakes can be our friends. They won't bite us or hurt us, but some snakes can hurt us. And if they are scared, because you're so much bigger than them, then they'll try to hurt you, because they don't know how else to react. So be careful when you're looking for your sticks that you don't accidentally run into another snake. All right, my friends, be careful. I can't wait to see your snakes. I'll see you next time.